Hello, my name is Karen Howell. I'm a physical therapist here in Eagle, Idaho. Today I'm sharing some home remedies, that's why we moved into the kitchen, uh, regarding use of different items that will get rid of inflammation and pain if you have a, a sprain or a strain or bruises. Uh, we are particularly going to focus on um, a cruciferous vegetable. Um, cruciferous vegetables include things like kale and broccoli. And the one we're going to do today is we're going to be using cabbage, particularly because the cabbage leaves can be easily molded around a, a swollen joint or limb um, and they're easier to handle. Plus, if you stick them in the fridge, they get nice and cool, which also helps with the anti-inflammatory effect. The other thing I'll be demonstrating is how to make a, a saturated solution of Epsom salts and use that in a towel wrap around a limb, again, so that you don't have to have it down, hanging, and gaining more swelling in a tub of water um, versus just elevating it up and having a wrapped towel around it. So let's move into the kitchen and let us get going on this demonstration. Okay, so I pulled off a couple of uh, three cabbage leaves here, um, give me some room. I'm going to be targeting so if it was my wrist that was injured. Um, but if you can see, there's that thick vein down there that doesn't let them mold very well. So I'm going to use a knife and very carefully just cut out that vein. And that just kind of leaves it a little more floppy. That for the other one, it's got another vein there. Now yeah, they're pretty moldable. Um, as you can see, I've also laid down a, a piece of plastic underneath, uh, um, and I put on the top of that paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and put the leaves down on here, and you can use a meat. Uh, mallet or any of those other kind of items, but um, I tend to use a granite piece and it's pretty firm and I just... Glucosilinate is the anti-inflammatory chemical found in cruciferous vegetables, which is why we pound them to release the juice. You'll actually start seeing some of the juices coming through there. And so now they're really soft. So what you do is you can leave them on there and you can take these pieces paper towel and now that you've got these then you can go ahead and apply them onto your sore limb and they're pretty moldable that way and then you can wrap that in plastic helps hold it in place. Now at this point you can just leave it like this and, and rest for about 10, 15, 20, 15 minutes or you can add a thin layer of towel and then a cold pack on top of that and then you wrap this around and then you can let it rest that way for about 10-15 minutes. So that's how you would do the use of cabbage leaves. For the Epsom salt wrap or poultice to reduce inflammation, mix one cup Epsom salts and add four cups of very hot water together in a bowl. Use four cups. Just stir it until all of the Epsom salts have dissolved into the water. After the water has cooled to a comfortable warm temperature, soak hand towels in the solution. Lay down a towel and a plastic bag on top. And I take my towels, lay those down. Now I can lay my sore wrist down and wrap that up and then wrap it in plastic. 
By wrapping the soaked towels within a dry outer towel, you hold the moist heat in. Allow 15 minutes, letting the towels to cool completely. This in the cabbage leaf wrap can be repeated several times during the day. These household remedies are quite effective, so I do encourage you to try them when you do have some inflammation around a joint or a limb. Of course, contact me. I would be very happy to help you um, speed the recovery from any of these type of injuries, as well as to ensure that you do regain any lost strength and coordination, which is also very common around sprains and strains. As usual, best wishes and health.